Okay, so he was already asleep when I got a call from my source in Tokyo. I actually know two people in Tokyo. Uh, I had to confirm some of this stuff because I know now who made the sensor in the Nikon D850. Um, very interesting. Uh, some of the stuff I definitely didn't know. I had to look up some of this stuff because I thought the only people making backside illuminated sensors um, were uh, Samsung, Sony, and Toshiba. Toshiba is now owned by uh, Sony. So I found out from my source, who kept talking too damn fast. Thank you, by the way. Not you, my source. On who makes the Sony? Excuse me, I was I was asleep, and then I had to corroborate some of the stuff and look up some of the information to make sure. And not only that, it all checks out, even though it doesn't say, "Hey, we exactly made the Nikon D850 sensor." Absolutely, everything he said is 100% accurate. I had to go through press releases and everything. Let's first start off by stating the fact that the Nikon D850, which I knew this before I got the information, is their 100th anniversary camera. And if you thought. Nikon, I've already said many times, Nikon has more than one damn source for their sensors. The only unfortunate thing is that Renaissance and Toshiba, other sources, are now owned by Sony. Well, Nikon was never going to let their sensor be made by the enemy camp. Um, I know for a fact from some Nikon corporate people that, you know, while Nikon and Sony have a partnership for, you know, making sensors for uh, Nikon cameras, that... Uh, Nikon would, you know, prefer that not to be the case. Let's just put it that way. Let's state here what Nikon actually stated some time ago. Um, and Nikon Contract Silicon Foundry. Nikon has never made sensors, by the way. I mean, anybody in the know. Now, it's also been stated that Nikon uh, designed... Sorry, I'm sleepy. Nikon uh, designed the sensor for the DA50, but that doesn't mean a damn thing because Toshiba says they designed... I mean, excuse me, Toshiba... Um, Fujifilm says they designed the sensor for the Fujifilm GFX, but that same damn sensor has been around for years in the uh, Mamiya Leaf and the and the uh, the Pentax Z medium format. What they actually designed was the micro lens array that goes over the top of it for better gain, but they never, you know, designed a complete and total sensor. So anyway, here's the information from my source. And ta-da, drum roll. Where's the drum roll? The people that, uh, by the way. Before I say who made it, the, <laughs> the people that make the sensor inside the uh, Nikon D850 for the 100th anniversary camera, which it, it is, is the same people who make the sensor inside some of Leica's cameras. Oh my god. The answer is an Israeli company called Tower Jazz. If you've never heard of them, I got a bunch of links below, okay? Now, Tower Jazz is a corporation which is 51%. Uh, I had to look up this stuff on the information they gave me. It's like, that's really who made it? It's like, he said, yeah, that's who made it. And also know who subcontracted the design. When Nikon says they designed the sensor, the people that designed it for Nikon and they worked together is called uh, Forza Silicon, which is in Pasadena, California. I'll put that link below. But the people that made the chip is Tower Jazz. Tower Jazz is a company which is a really based company, which is 49% owned by Panasonic. The company is a TPS uh, Co., 50% um, uh, owned by a Tower Semiconductor. Um, uh, Tower Jazz is an Israeli company based in, I forget which town in Israel. There, are, Yeah, Tower Jazz headquarters in Migdal, uh, Haimek, Israel. Tower Jazz uh, purchased three manufacturing facilities in Hokuriku, Japan with, for large-scale integrated circuits. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. NASDAQ, TSM. Yeah, uh, sensor. Yeah, they have an icon. Sorry, I'm, I'm slightly sleepy. Tower Jazz yeah, purchased a 51% stake in these three fabrication plants formerly owned by Panasonic when Panasonic was in trouble. But Panasonic owns... Tower Jazz by a rate of 49%. So Panasonic owns 49% of Tower Jazz, which is an Israeli company. Everybody knows Panasonic. And Tower Jazz owns 51% of the uh, manufacturing facilities in Hokoriku. Um, the only other people that are actually making backside illuminated sensors is uh, called Simosis, which is now called AMS Sensor Belgium, another company entirely, which did not make the sensor for the D850. 
So they changed their name. I've heard of CMOSIS. Now they're called AMS Sensor Belgium. Um, they make backside illuminated sensors also, but their facilities are in Antwerp, Nuremberg, and uh, Portugal. Well, Fuchal in Portugal. Those are not the people that made the sensor. So the only people that are, I didn't know these two companies um, made these, and I didn't know that part of Panasonic was owned by Tower Jazz, who I'd actually never heard of. Um, the only people making backside illuminated sensors other than the Sony group, which is uh, Sony, and uh, I don't know if a Renaissance ever made backside illuminated sensors, nor Toshiba. They were making Toshiba and Renaissance were making CMOS sensors, but that's all Sony now. And Sony, of course, is making backside illuminated sensors, which is on the A7R2. But the other company, CMOSIS, is definitely not making the sensor. So the confirmation is, is that Nikon used, from my source, and I had to look up the stuff. I never heard of Tower Jazz, and I never heard of Forza Silicon in uh, Pasadena, California. So when Nikon says they designed the sensor for the Nikon DA50, uh, my source says that they uh, contracted with Forza Silicon to design it, you know, with their specifications and output. Forza Silicon in the past has worked with the uh, Tower Jazz, like I said, Tower Jazz and Panasonic. Yeah. Yeah, 49% owned by Panasonic, but Tower Jazz owns 51% of Panasonic's fabrication plants in uh, Hokuriku, Japan. So these sensors apparently are made in Hokuriku, Japan by Tower Jazz, which owns those uh, facilities uh, formerly owned by Panasonic, but Panasonic owns 49% of Tower Jazz. The same company who makes the sensors inside the Leica Q and the Leica... So, so the sensor inside the Nikon D850 is <laughs> made by the same company that makes sensors for Leica. Um, I knew that Nikon wouldn't have contracted with Sony, the evil empire. Um, I know, you know, Nikon's obviously given countless, countless millions of dollars to Sony for sensors to drop into the Nikon cameras. By the way, Nikon has never made a sensor. I wish people would stop telling me that too, by the way. Nikon has never made a damn sensor, okay? That is not my opinion. That's just a hardcore fact. So let's, so Nikon designed it doesn't mean anything. I could design something. It doesn't mean I made the damn thing. Um, I wish people would stop saying that. I mean, I knew that from straight off, but I didn't know all of this stuff. And also found the press releases, like the Tower Jazz, I never heard of them. Are they making backside illuminated sensors? And I found out that they are. They contracted with the G-Pixel, and here's the announcement in their press release. Tower Jazz has been dropping backside illuminated sensors now for two and a half years. I never heard of them, and I had to confirm that because my source told me. I was like, who? Who made it? I was like, did they make backside illuminated sensors? That's more advanced than regular CMOS sensors. Backside illuminated is a CMOS, but backside illuminated is an advanced form of a CMOS sensor. And here's the company, uh, Tower Jazz Panasonic Semiconductor Limited, or TPSCO. There we go. I had to look this stuff up. Halfway tired, of course. Yeah, and the uh, custom design that uh, Nikon used to work with Tower Jazz is uh, the foundry partner that uh, Nikon was talking about for the design, which is uh, Forza. There's the banner head on their website. So I guess a lot of this details is stuff you don't want to know. Um, so the sensor is made by... Is an, is it, by the way, I, I know the Israelis use sensors for like... Um, they use Tower Jazz. I mean, Israel has always wanted, I know for a fact that they use the sensors and a lot of advanced weaponry stuff too. And when I looked it up on Google search to look at the company in um, Migdal, where is it in Israel? Where the hell are they located in Israel? <laughs> I forgot. Migdal Haimek, Israel. That since Israel uses sensors, the sensors are used in everything, including advanced weaponry. I noticed that in Google search, everything is nice and clear on the streets of Israel, except when you panned over to look at the Tower Jazz headquarters in Israel, it's blurred out. The only reason it would be blurred out is because the government of Israel said that this is a top secret facility or something, and they don't want it shown on Google Street View. And the reason for that is they're not just making camera sensors. Sensors are used in everything. Security eyeballs... The eyeballs that, that's not the correct word, the eyeball on the front like a, a heat-seeking missile. You know, sensors, that's the infrared heat sensors. I mean, I don't know if, uh, if a Tower Jazz is making uh, advanced weaponry sensors also, but I'm assuming they probably are <laughs> since it's, bla it's blurred out on Google Street View. <laughs> I was like, oh, uh, yeah. Um, I know a lot of stuff about uh, Israeli uh, equipment. Because uh, that's the first thing that came to my mind. I was like, I know why that 
Tower of Jazz is bl blurred out in Israel. They don't want a street view of it. That's a little side thing there. So, interesting. Tower of Jazz made the sensor, who also makes sensor for Leica. Nikon contracted. This is from my source. Forza Silicon in Pasadena, California for the design, which went to... Uh, which went to the Tower Jazz facilities in uh, Hokuriku, Japan, which is a which is like what in Hoshu? Pro I forget what province. Uh, Hokuriku, someone, yeah, Hokuriku region located in northwest part of Honshu, which is the north uh, western end of the main island of uh, Japan. Hey. So, and I didn't know that. Panasonic and Tower Jazz, are, they both own each other. Tower Jazz owns Panasonic's semiconductor fabrication facilities, part of them, and Panasonic owns part of Tower Jazz, which is an Israeli company. So there's the answer on that. I got a bunch of links below, too, by the way, if you want to take a look. And that is that. Big thanks to my source, especially for not realizing the time difference between... You know, his part of the world and my part of the world because I was already laying down to go. <sighs> ah, if you like these videos, you can always make a small donation. Tell me to jump off a cliff. The link is below. So that's interesting. Uh, I had already heard reports and I was assuming that it was probably a Sony sensor in the Nikon D850. And um, I didn't know that there were other companies... CMOSIS, I didn't, I, I knew, I heard of them, but I didn't know they make backside illuminated sensors, which they do. I found that out. And I never heard of Tower Jazz. So basically, it's a Panasonic sensor, but it's Panasonic's sensor facilities owned by Tower Jazz. Because apparently in 2013, Panasonic underwent some sort of crisis, and they, di they dished out half of their company basically to Tower Jazz, which makes sense. The Israelis would want advanced semiconductor production facilities. I mean, there's a lot of actually really advanced stuff that's made in Israel, by the way. People don't realize that. Here in America, we don't uh, get a lot of products that say made in Israel. I always find it interesting when I see them. I was like, that's cool. It's so rare that I see products Israeli. Of course, this is not Israeli made. It's made in Japan. It's just owned by Tower Jazz. Whew. I had to drink some coffee to research this information after I got it for my tip. Thank you so much for watching. So it's a Panasonic sensor made by Israeli company, subcontract, subcontracted out for the design, designed by Japan for Forza Electronics. I think I made that clear. That's complicated, isn't it? <laughs> not really. Uh, not after I went through all of that. It's not complicated. Or maybe it is. Whew. I think my source drank more caffeine than I did. Anyway, so apparently that's the lowdown. Not a Sony sensor, right? It's like, hey, it's not a Sony sensor. It's basically a Panasonic sensor. Last famous Panasonic sensor in a Nikon was the Nikon D700. Hooray, which best image output of any camera ever made. Digital camera, anyway, essentially. Interesting. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go back to bed now. <laughs> Bye.